Interacting with Blender relies on using keyboard and mouse often simultaneously. The program differs from other applications, however, because what each keyboard press or mouse click actually does varies depending on the task performed. Click holding the middle mouse button, for example, rotates the 3D view when the mouse is moved, but slides other editors side to side or up and down. This means Blender's controls are largely context sensitive. Their function changes depending on what the user is doing. With this in mind, looking at a standard three button mouse, using the left mouse button selects, highlights or otherwise activates various panels, properties, options and settings so they can be changed by either left click dragging values or input boxes or typing to overwrite. Using the middle mouse button manipulates the views and editors, typically rotating, as with the 3D view, or translating the workspace of an editor along the horizontal or vertical plane. Using the right mouse button selects data and objects in preparation for further manipulation or modification. This division between left and right buttons is important to defining context, essentially the left button selects, activates various properties, options and associated values. Right button selects objects and associated data, with middle manipulating the views and editors. These basic functions can then be further augmented using the Shift, Alt and Control keys. Used in conjunction with the middle mouse button for example, all three can manipulate some aspect of the 3D view. Shift translates the view, Alt snaps rotation and Control magnifies. Looking at Blender's default layout with this information in mind, 3D view, the middle mouse button rotates the scene when held as the mouse is moved, drags the scene side to side top to bottom when used alongside Shift, and zooms when combined with Control. This scheme differs slightly for other editors and panels as the middle mouse button drags without the use of shift. Using the right mouse button in the 3D view selects individual objects as they are clicked and groups of objects when used alongside shift. Similarly, in the timeline and other editors, different data objects can be selected individually or as part of a group, again using shift. Linear selections are also possible, combining Alt with right clicking depending on the task and editor. Shift here allows multiple linear group selections, for example selecting a row of faces in edit mode, or a set of keyframes in the action editor. Using the left mouse button in the 3D workspace is limited to repositioning the 3D cursor or manipulation widget associated with other editors and areas, or loop selecting objects when combined with control. Beyond this, left clicking a property, option or value initiates the editing process of the highlighted value when used in the main properties, tool and information editors and areas. Left clicking also modifies the appearance of the user interface when click dragging the border between areas. Finally, each action or operation is confirmed by releasing the mouse button pressed, pressing enter or left clicking elsewhere on screen, or cancelling by right clicking. In this way, Blender creates a clear distinction between initialising, operating, and acting on objects and data within the scene.